guys, I'm here to cut a soap. This is a custom for a friend. Um, soap Gremlins came to play last night. It was ready to cut before it was even finished cooling down because, believe me, it did gel and it did overheat. Uh, bright side is I got a new, uh, new tripod, so I have some new, um, some new camera angles. Excuse the mess on the table. It's been crazy around here. I'm gonna get that cleaned up sometime today. I've already cut the first slice off the end. I was testing the soap hardness and it is really hard. I'm okay with the fact that it kind of swirled. The original design called for a four color in the pot and swirl. However, um, the fragrance nearly seized. I nearly barely got it into the pot on time. So we're gonna count this lucky. Of course, none of this is documented because the first thing that the soap gremlins did when they got here was turn the camera off. So there's no, uh, no evidence of their exploits. But it's better than I thought it would be. I thought that it would be um, all air pocketed and perhaps melted. There's a little bit of ricing. I'm okay with the ricing. I thought I had blended it back into the soap, but... You know, it really just got to where I had to stop mixing and just get it in the mold, otherwise I was going to lose it. I don't have a crock pot for soaping, so finishing it hot process was not an option. It's supposed to be two different greens, and blue and natural. Oh, there's the other little bit of green there. Can you kind of see? It's kind of a little bit... <laughs> So hopefully we'll see when the we'll see when the uh, soap cures a little bit and I'm able to cut it or to plane it if that texture will go away or not. But still, I guess I should count my lucky stars. It's been a long time since I've had a really accelerated seized batch, so. Pretty happy overall. I usually am. Soap grim ones are never any fun. I'm blaming Emily Lane for that one because she said they uh, were free to a good home. I didn't offer to take them, but they adopted me anyway. So <laughs> that is what that is, right? So the fragrance um, had to be a green swirl because it is a custom fragrance, and I do think it's the fragrance that that caused me to almost lose this batch because it got really, really hot before I was even finished mixing the color in. Um, but they all had the, the word green in them, so getting around, a, getting around or trying to do the soap without green wouldn't have been impossible. Hey, sorry, my phone keeps ringing. Um, anyway, yeah, I was saying, I think before the camera cut off, that it has a little bit of ricey texture. Can you see all the dots in there? And that might just be from cutting it, I, I won't know until until it's cured and I'm able to kind of cut it a little bit or cure it and then plane it a little bit. So we'll see. Um, I don't know if it said that there was no getting around the green in the name of the soap or in the color of the soap. Let's cut this one right in half. because all th there was a fragrance of three and they all had the word green in them. So just in case it didn't come through. Three, four, five. Yeah, but I'm happy the, the two color green kind of survived. You can kind of see and the natural and the blue. Um, this is the same recipe that I did the bacon soap. It was a very nice recipe. And it's going, this soap is going to the same person who ordered that, so. This is a neat piece. This is how it was supposed to look. Now I was going to call it Irish Rain. It's not really an Irish Spring kind of smell. I thought maybe Irish Rain would be confusing because it's not that Irish Spring smell, but it is a really lightweight, clean smell. It has the green clover and aloe in it, but also a few others, a couple others. Well, there's the end piece on that side and that side. I'm sorry about the dark in here. I know it looks really dark, but it's just a stormy day outside. 
Where's that? In there. Okay, that's it. So, thank you for watching, and I hope the next time I do a soap, I'll be able to get you a video. Darn soap gremlins. Bye.